Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you how to reset the TPMS light on this Nissan Leaf. So this is a 2013 Nissan Leaf and right there the car has a TPMS light on or a tire pressure monitoring system light on. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put in the correct amount of air and uh, what I use and how I quickly do it without having to spend uh, time going to the, to the dealer. So I go in the driver door jam, tells me that the car is supposed to have the tire pressure at 36 PSI all the way around the vehicle. So meaning front and back, I'll close up this door. I use my uh, little air compressor. This is something I keep in the back of my car. And the great thing about this one is when you turn it on, it'll actually turn off itself once it reaches 36 PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video check the tires all the way around and uh, show you how to go ahead and reset that light so this is the driver rear uh, wheel right here it's a little bit lower and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on one thing I want to point out when while you're doing this you want to make sure that the car's ignition is actually on like the car is running in its regular mode because this car has a very small 12 volt battery that powers up the a lot of the electronics on the vehicle other than the drivetrain so uh, you want to make sure that if you can try to avoid using the cigarette lighter if you uh, I normally use one of these connectors right here that is just alligator clips that goes to a, a, a little adapter that just turns that into a, a cigarette lighter it knows that it already reached that pressure so when I plug it back in the the compressor just turns off by itself. That's why that compressor is such a great little tool to have around the vehicle. I'm going to come back over here with the tire at 36 psi on its own. It did it without having me to sit there and watch it. I'm going to quickly disconnect that compressor to the tires. I'm going to make sure all my uh, tires have valve caps and don't use the metal ones. They sometimes seize on here get good quality plastic ones and don't go too tight you can actually break them and let me go ahead and go back inside the vehicle and show you how to do the rest of this procedure all right so i'm going to go ahead and close this up i got everything back together safely car's still running and that way i make sure i didn't kill the battery on this vehicle um gonna go ahead and try to pop up the hood here using one hand and one thing I do want to point out, anything that I'm using in this video, I'll have a link to it below. Now we're in the car, right? And this is how lucky you get. So uh, without even driving the car, the TPMS light on this 2013 Nissan Leaf has automatically reset. Sometimes I go driving for a couple of miles. Um, but uh, if you're getting this uh, TPMS light error uh, on your Nissan or your Nissan Leaf and the car is about 10 years old um, and you try this procedure, uh, you make sure all the tires are up to spec as far as the tire pressure, uh, then you may have a weak battery uh, batteries inside your little sensors. And let me show you what those actually look like and how you know if you have tire pressuring monitor system so see this this is a valve stem off a vehicle that has a tpms system see how it's metal and this right here is the valve stem off a car that doesn't have a tpms system right see how this is how it looks most of the time 90 percent of the time see how this is just rubber so you know this one right here doesn't have a most likely doesn't have a tpms system this right here is a 20 uh, 2001 they didn't really use that a lot in a lot of cars. It was mandated later in the years. On a 2013, you have to have it. So you want to make sure that the battery in here isn't dead. So if your car is 10 years old, you may uh, you may have to visit the dealer or a local shop, call around. I was able to get these sensors replaced for 75 bucks when I was working around cars. The dealer sometimes wanted $170 a piece. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. 
give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family that have these ev uh, nissan leafs thanks for watching guys and the same procedure applies to other nissan products as well have a great day